Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here. It's Monday the 25th of March. Thanks for watching weatherweb.net. Remember we're kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. It's by you coming back and using the site and using the adverts. That's what keeps us free of charge, so thank you for doing that. Now it's been cold and it looks like staying cold as well. Just can't see any real sign of milder weather trying to get in just at the moment. Um, the models really are in cold mode. This is the ECMWF on the left here, the GFS on the right. And this is the mean of the 7 to 10 day uh, 500 millibar flow from next Monday through to Thursday the 4th of April. Now what both models are showing look is the jet stream again quite a long way south into the Atlantic coming through uh, Iberia and into Western Europe. Both models on the same sort of theme. Keeps the UK on the cold side and Northern Europe on the cold side and also builds uh, pressure up here towards the north which maintains the cold easterly dominant flow through uh, the British Isles and much of Northern Europe. So really not much hope of change on the horizon. And if we just look at the pressure charts, this is valid for tomorrow. High pressure up here towards the north again, low pressure to the south. We've got an easterly flow again, just bringing some snow flows down these eastern coasts. As we look ahead in towards um, Thursday, again very similar positions with a high to the north, the low to the south and this easterly flow. Again, further snow showers down the eastern coast of the country. Best of the sunshine, always out towards the west. And then the frontal chart for uh, Saturday showing again milder air trying to get in from the southwest, meeting this cold air coming in from the east. And again, we had that situation, didn't we, yesterday, where we thought this mild air might finally break its way through earlier into next week. But all the indications now from today are that that mild air is going to struggle to get in again. The big problem we've got is that when you then look a little bit further, we come to this position. This is from the Canadian model. This is valid for uh, midnight on the 31st, so this is next Sunday. Notice high pressure Scandinavia look, the easterly flow coming in through the UK. Here's the low out towards the west. We've got the fronts down here trying to push their way northeastwards. But again, that cold air just wins through. This is then the chart for midnight on the 1st of April. So this is midnight on Easter Monday. Low pressure down towards the west. Look, here's that easterly flow coming in. But this low by now is pushing precipitation into the southern parts of the country. That's coming up against this easterly flow. And of course, as the rain comes in, it turns increasingly to snow across southern parts of England. By Easter Tuesday, low pressure is crossing northern France, look, and the flow is coming round more into the northeast. This is really cold air again coming through the UK. And should this situation turn out like this, with low pressure crossing those northern parts of France, there'll be heavy rain towards the south, but it'll be falling as sleet and snow once again. Eastern coasts are always prone to most of the snowfall, <coughs> excuse me, particularly across parts of East Anglia, across the southeast as well. Uh, out towards the west, probably less in the way of rain, but this is another wintry setup. And then into the Wednesday, well, the low is in the Atlantic, in the uh, Channel look, and a strong wind surrounding the low. We've got precipitation, we've got heavy periods of rain, further risk of sleet and snow, and just feeling cold everywhere. Scotland and Northern Ireland probably a little bit drier. And then as we look further into next week, this is the Canadian again for next Thursday. So a week on Thursday, still got the cold northeasterly flow, still got the low out towards the east. Further periods of rain across eastern and southern parts of England. It could be a very wet period there and a cold one as well. Cold too for Scotland, Ireland, Wales, western parts of England as well with that northeasterly flow persisting. Now, normally, given a situation like this, you'd kind of say, oh, well, you know, it's just one model. But the problem is that the GFS Ensemble backs this up as well. The ECMWF is looking milder, but the, the GFS Ensemble is backing up this idea from the Canadian of the cooler conditions. So this is probably worst case scenario, but it's something that we've got to look at over the coming days. I would say at the moment, this has probably got about 60% confidence level associated with it whereas the milder weather coming in probably has a 40% confidence level associated with it so we just need to watch it and amend it if we need to but what's also interesting about this final chart here is this ridge that's building once again look out in the Atlantic this is warm air pumping northwards up here this is the signature that we've seen throughout the winter months which starts the blocks off again towards the north and if we then look at the CFS, this is valid for um, the week from the 7th of April through to the 13th of April. See what happens here. This is the mean of the 500 millibar flow, the anomalies. And again, look, it's built a block up here towards the north. That's high pressure beginning to build here to the north again. 
lower the normal heights down to the south, low pressure in here, jet stream across the south, this just results in cold easterly winds with the south of the country remaining uh, cool. In fact, it's all parts of the country remaining cool to cold. The south seeing rain at times, dry conditions up towards the north. So it's all indicating here, look, that things really aren't looking particularly much warmer as we get into the early to middle part of April. Now it could be, of course, that we've gone snow mad and it may cold mad, and it may just be that um, it, the models are just biasing themselves so much to cold now because there's so much rain. But you know, it doesn't look particularly great with those cool conditions uh, just persisting. But incidentally, look at the uh, look at the pattern the CFS makes here. We've got an eye here, look, an eye here, and we've got a big smiley mouth in there. Perhaps it's just the CFS having a joke. I think for now, then, the best thing to do is probably just to sound under the duvet because it just looks like it's going to stay cold for the time being. Um, we'll, we will be watching, though, obviously, for signals of milder air trying to break through. It's just it doesn't look very hopeful just at the moment. We probably need to be working on the idea that cold air is going to be more persistent and more dominant right through the, uh, the next sort of 10 to 14 day period. But for now, I'll leave you with that. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget we kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. It's by you coming back and using the site. That's what keeps us free of charge. So thank you for doing that. And despite the cold, keep the sun shining. Bye for now.